Got a few little interesting bits for you today. Had a little rummage through a box of odds and ends, and I've got for you three different types of flasher unit for your Christmas lights. Um, I'll just move these two out of the way, and we'll start with this one. This is a Pifco flasher unit. The picture you can see is what the box would look like that it would come in. I, I didn't get mine with a box. I got this through um, a little bulk buy many years ago. Uh, so it's for 200 to 250 volts, 30 to 40 watts. That's probably like 30 watts is probably the minimum to make it go and 40 is probably the maximum you're allowed to push it to. Um, but these were made to go into a lamp and then in this you put in your bayonet holder attached to your Christmas lights because for some strange reason that's how they used to come years ago. Uh, I always remember my nan's house, her Christmas tree in the front room. Uh, she had like a set of 35 shadeless coloured lights. Uh, they're not the ones but pretty much similar to what they were. And she had this wacky adapter. <laughs> she had a lamp on the floor with the bulb taken out and this wacky adapter went into the lamp holder and then you could put the bulb back in the lamp so long as you had a tall enough shade that you could have a taller stanchion for the bulb and then the Christmas lights went into the dog leg and you could turn the lamp on and off independently of the Christmas lights which also had its own switch remember I don't have one of those dog leg adapters I've no need for one they're just they were just wacky a remnant of a time long since past um, but for this this was made for the set of 12 olive cone type lights I'm not sure what year these came out but judging by the box it looks 50s at least um, so probably starting with the nursery rhyme type lights you know the, the Disney Mazda style ones um, I think Pifco made some too this would then make the lights flash. Um, and bilton has got a demonstration of it in operation. I'll put a link to that down below. You could probably make a, oh, I'm not sure if you could get a set of 40 Christmas lights to go on it. I've never tried it. I've never wanted to, because all, all of my lights have free pin plugs on them now. They don't have the bayonet fittings, but it works. I tried it with a, um, a 40 watt bulb many moons ago. Um, don't have any incandescent bulbs in the house anymore so everything's LED but it's an interesting uh, first step into making your lights flash or as or N Bilton calls it the, uh, the Christmas light killer uh, but yeah there's one this one this is a if I can get it to focus a Woolworths flashy unit uh, use only with a series constructed light set uh, max wattage 34 watts do not remove the white tipped fuse bulb uh, to insert a flasher unit so keep your flasher unit on the end of the string and maybe put the uh, flasher bulb at the string end where the plug is or you could have them next to each other this is for screwing lights this is for sets of 20 35 and 40 screw-in lights, you know, like put lights. These, I don't know if they were replaced with flasher bulbs, but I have flasher bulbs on the channel in operation. There's a couple of videos already up on there, you can have a little look. I used to see a few sets of lights around people's windows with, with these on. Um, I don't know whether it is, you know, a, a light killer. I've used these in the past and never seen any detrimental bulb failures. Everything seems to work fine. The uh, the flasher bulbs, I prefer the flasher bulbs mainly because you can keep all the lights lit up rather than having one out, especially if it's on a set of 20. But yeah, there's that one. Pifco made one as well. As you can see, a little box of them there. Um, they're, they're cool. I mean, I just prefer the flasher bulbs myself. They're just a bit more easier and less bulky. Same principle. Piece of metal heats up, bends out the way contact removed and then as it cools down it flicks back in place and the lights come back on again this one this is probably the last iteration of getting anything like this 
but this one is by Noma. Uh, there's the packet there. I have two of these. I've got one, this one, which doesn't have a box, and then I have the one in the box. They also did a screw-in version as well, um, and from the outside, it looks identical to the push-in version. I think all they did was change the outer shell on the screw-in version the red outer shell stops at a point so they can add the screw thread adapter part that goes into the set. And then on the pushing version, it looks like the internals are the same, except the outer shell and the pushing part are all integral in one mold. These are for your pushing lights. I found these work fine in Noma, Pifco, Woolworth, and lots of other makes. Use them with sets of uh, 20 and 40 lights. But yeah, there's a little collection of three different types of flash unit. Going from era to era, so you've probably got 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. A little interesting history lesson of these flashy units. Um, hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you on the next one.